What's going on everybody? In this one I am rolling with Solomon. So you see I'm approaching him with the sitting stance butterfly, have my arm elbows inside. He's skirting around me cautiously. I sit down to invert a little bit, but he skirted away. He's coming in. You can tell he wants to pull my legs up. If you don't know if the feet are down, you pull them up in the air. If the feet are up, you push them down. So he's pushing on the knees. He wants to get past. I'm trying to get four points of control. It's a little bit harder to do when you're in the uh, no gi. With the gi, I decide to stand up. All right, using the technical stand up, we circle each other. I'm looking for that one arm grip, trying to get a two on one. Try to get a quick foot trip, that didn't work. He's pushing off. Try to do the outside leg trip. And I was able to use his momentum or his him turning and turn him down. Now here I'm trying to pull him backwards for a neck crank. I should have been square with his body. That would have allowed me to actually get the submission. But anyway, I go for side control after that. A little bit of a north-south. He's turning it away from me. So his arms are in a precarious position here, but he's also strong, so he's holding me down. I'm not able to, to posture up, but I probably could have framed on the head and pushed up and got out of the situation. I think I'm more concerned with the north-south here. He's trying to get up. I'm just maintaining control of the top of his body, and then I was able to throw him down that way. Uh-oh. Okay, and then we disengage. Slap hands and bump. Start again. I decide to sit down. See, I have my hands at the inside. He's looking to scoop my legs up. Or my elbows in, rather. All right. Also, I'm looking to get my feet on the inside of his legs there. Try to do like a Marcelo trip. That works once or twice and then it never works again on a person once you get them. Okay. He sits back for foot lock. And I had to immediately start to defend. He's also a, a tall guy too, so once he grabs you and leans back, you have to fight your way up. He was doing a good job of isolating me. I have the boot on. He's using his feet, his legs, and you can see I'm in uh, panic mode trying to make sure I can get up there, and then I was able to get guard, full guard. All right. So I'm baiting him, and I was able to get the sweep, foot sweep there. We get back up. Okay. Stand back up, a little pushing around, a little jostling for position. I go for the quickest takedown of BJJ. I go for this and oh! He slams me like a rag doll. But I was able to reverse it and now I'm on top. I'm going for the case of Katami. I was having a hard time holding him down. He had a lot of strength. Uh, and, uh, you know, as he should be curling into me and trying to pull that leg, he could actually get that top leg over me. But, you know, I'm on a swivel as far as my hips. I keep moving and turning when people are trying to do that to keep them from turning into me and flipping me over. But just as I say that, he flips me over on back onto my back and now I'm in case of Katami. Okay, I'm turning into him and 
I put people in case of Gatami a lot, so I am prepared to reverse it when I get reversed or if, it, if I ever end up in it. So I didn't have to stay in that too long. Now here I'm doing a basic self-defense move. I wanted to go for the arm bar, but I will settle for the mount. Okay, I'm in side control. He gets, he just gets up. Okay. <laughs> Solomon does present a few challenges as far as holding him down. I just have to, when I, you know, I've learned now grappling with him just to make sure that everything is tight, keep the positioning, uh, stick to the basics. Pushes me away. Right. All right, doing some hand fighting trying to get an inside position all right thanks guys for watching as always don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time peace